the day we're taking a look at these NFL matches, which are happening on Saturday, August 21st, 2021, and giving you parlay picks on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified, as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Our first parlay for tonight will be Buffalo Bills vs Chicago Bears. Chicago Bears Money Line. The Buffalo Bills opened their NFL preseason with a 16-15 victory over the Detroit Lions. Third-string quarterback Jake Fromm saw his first action in the NFL on Friday and led the Bills on a 74-yard drive that resulted in a field goal. Fromm completed a 42-yard, fourth-down pass to rookie Marquez Stevenson during the scoring drive. Star quarterback Jake Allen did not play and is not expected to see any action this week. Chicago rallied from a 13-0 deficit in the second quarter to defeat Miami Dolphins 2013 in their preseason opener. The Bears were led by rookie quarterback Justin Fields who passed for 142 yards and one touchdown. Veteran QBs Nick Foles and Andy Dalton combined for just 26 yards passing. The Chicago defense held Miami scoreless in the second half after giving up 13 first-half points. Fields is expected to see even more action on Saturday when the Bears host the Bills in Week 2. Detroit Lions vs Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers, money line. The Detroit Lions will travel to Heinz Field on Saturday night to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers in Week 2 of the preseason. The Lions are coming off a 16-15 home loss against the Buffalo Bills last game, while the Steelers are 2-0 after coming off a 24-16 win over the Philadelphia Eagles. This will be interesting as Detroit enters a new era and Pittsburgh is trying to get their revenge after being won and done in the playoffs after starting the season 11-0. This game has a couple of young star players that are set to get the spotlight, so it will be interesting to see if they are able to win here. Let's take a closer look into each of these teams to decide where we should place our bets. New York Jets vs Green Bay Packers. New York Jets, money line. The Jets had one of the worst defenses in the league last season and they hired former San Francisco 49ers defensive coordinator Robert Sala as their new head coach. They did a great job on defense in their first game under Salah, holding the Giants under 200 yards in the win. Their fans will be hoping to see another dominant defensive effort when they play on Saturday. However, they just lost their top defensive free agent Carl Lawson to an Achilles' tendon injury for the year. Quick reminder, you can get 125% cashback bonus on your first deposit on our partner Sportsbook Bet US after you open an account using our link down below and use our promo code HIGHSTAKES when making your deposit. Our second parlay for tonight will be Baltimore Ravens vs Carolina Panthers. Baltimore Ravens, money line. The Baltimore Ravens do not lose preseason games. They have won an incredible 18 consecutive preseason games under H.C. John Harbaugh. The Ravens were able to top a good Saints team 17-14 last week in a game where Lamar Jackson did not play. All four of the Ravens' wins in the 2019 preseason came by double digits. If Lamar Jackson does not suit up, his status is unclear, Baltimore is the better and more motivated squad. Obviously there isn't a safer preseason bet than on the Ravens winning. As such, go with the money line, especially since giving more than a field isn't an especially intriguing move. Tennessee Titans vs Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tennessee Titans, money line. We won't see a lot of the stars for either team on Saturday, so backing the Titans after they looked far better in preseason week 1 is the play here. It's hard to see the backups for Tampa Bay generating much offense, given how poorly they played last week, while the Titans were dominant all around. Tampa Bay's quarterbacks were not effective last week as Trask struggled to move the ball downfield. That was against a Bengals defense that figures to be one of the worst in the league and the Titans look like a tougher challenge after dismantling Atlanta last week. The Titans found the win column in their opener, beating Atlanta 23-3. They held the Falcons to an anemic 138 total yards of offense. 
On the offensive side of the ball, Logan Woodley and Matt Barkley look decent enough under center. They combined to go 15 of 23 for 105 yards with two touchdowns and no interceptions. The Titans did not commit a single turnover, which bodes well for them before facing a Tampa Bay defense that forced four against Cincinnati. Woodside has looked comfortable in the Titans' offense when he's gotten playing time, and the Titans have some solid pieces emerging at wide receiver further down the depth chart. The Buccaneers don't appear likely to put a lot of effort into winning this preseason, giving the Titans good value here. Houston Texans vs Dallas Cowboys. Houston Texans, money line. Four points is a large spread for a preseason game, especially when Dallas has no real quality options behind Dak Prescott. The number is even larger when the underdog is the team that has more incentive to win. According to Betton, the Cowboys' over-under win total for the season is set at 9, while the Texans' over-under win total is set at a league-worst four games. The Cowboys have a franchise quarterback in place, who they actually see as part of their future, and a head coach who has won a Super Bowl. The Texans have a first-time head coach with a lot to prove and a roster full of players that not much is being expected from. There seems to be no urgency to play franchise quarterback Dak Prescott or running back Ezekiel Elliott. Prescott signed a club record $160 million, four-year contract in March, and is coming off of an injury. Elliott has carried the ball at least 232 times in each of his five NFL seasons, and the Cowboys want him to be at 100% for the regular season. The Cowboys plan to play Amari Cooper, who caught 92 passes for 1,114 yards and five touchdowns in 2020. Houston ran the ball really well against Green Bay, rushing for 170 yards and two touchdowns, while averaging 4.7 yards per carry. That kind of movement in the trenches says they're playing with all-out effort, which is all that really matters in the preseason. The Texans came out against the Packers and dominated last week, while the Cowboys have lost both of their preseason contest. Even in the preseason, beating the Dallas Cowboys could give this Texans team a needed boost of confidence. Three backup Dallas quarterbacks are all competing for a roster spot and have all attempted at least 13 passes in both of the first two games. Garrett Gilbert, a 30-year-old who threw 38 of his 44 career pass attempts last season for Dallas, made a start against Arizona and went 7 for 16 for 80 yards. Cooper Rush, a 27-year-old five-year veteran out of Central Michigan who only has three career pass attempts, came in and went 7 for 13 for 89 yards. Finally, 24-year-old Ben DiNucci came in, went 6 for 14 for 46 yards, and threw the only touchdown for the Cowboys, but could not lead the team to victory. For Dallas, the season expectations are much higher, and they are not going to take any serious risk to win this game. Take the Texans to cover as the road underdog.